This is, wait a minute, I'm pretty sure you all know by now, this is English. Woo! Hello everyone, and welcome to another luscious, fully loaded, guaranteed to make you wiggle, giggle, and rock your super duper socks off episode of This Is English. Before we get started, I'd like to thank our dear friend, our corporate sponsor, The Spatula. Fifty Shades of Oh My God! Today, we're going to be talking about something that people find quite tricky, difficult, challenging, complicated, and even disturbing. <coughs> Cambridge speaking exams. <laughs> now, why are these Cambridge speaking exams so difficult? Because your mother told you not to talk to strangers? or because you get nervous when you have to speak in front of a group of people? No! Or is it because you have been studying English for the last 10 years, but you still don't know how to actually speak it? Bingo. Whatever the reason is, don't worry. Because today, we're going to give you all the killer vocabulary you will need to make your examiner look at you like how Richard Vaughan looks at a dictionary. <laughs> to start out, in both the Cambridge First and Advanced speaking exams, it is very typical to have to talk about where you are from. Now, for example, you could be from Bilbao, a city which is in the north part of the Iberian Peninsula, is close to the ocean, it is also close to the mountains, near the French borders, has a population of around 500,000 inhabitants, and is famous for its food, its culture, and its phenomenal weather. And remember, when translating cerca de to English, you want to say close to, near, or near to. Do not translate cerca de to mean near from or near of. It does not work. <coughs> Next, a typical thing that they will ask you about will be about what you do. So, if you're going to answer that, do not make this mistake of translating actualmente to actually. Actually in Spanish would be en realidad realmente. Actualmente in English translates to currently, right now, or at the moment. For instance, right now, I'm getting my degree in engineering, or currently, or at the moment, I'm getting my degree in engineering. Notice that I didn't say career when I was talking about studies. Carrera in English translates to degree, so please be careful with that. Oh yeah! If you are working, and imagine your job is a police officer, you will want to say, I am working as a police officer. Notice that I did not say I'm working like a police officer because if you translate como in this case to say like instead of as, you will be making a comparison and not a declaration. If I say I'm working like a police officer, it would sound like I was going around with a gun and handcuffs shooting people and arresting them. In the event that you are unemployed, you can say a few different things. You can say, at the moment, or currently, I'm unemployed. You could say, at the moment, I'm looking for a job, or I am between jobs. Or, if you want to use informal British colloquial English, you can say, I'm on the dole at the moment, is a way of saying, estoy en el paro. All right, all right, all right. And moving on to the next point. If you are asked about what you like to do in your free time, in your spare time, or in your leisure time, you can respond with one of these fantastic phrases. You can say, for example, I am really keen on picking my nose. Now, to say that you are keen on something is just another way of saying that you like to do it. I am keen on picking my nose. Another way of saying that is to say, I am really into picking my nose. It just means that you like it. If you want to say something more formal, you could say, I am very fond of picking my nose. <laughs> On the other hand, if you would like to say that you don't like to do something, you can just say not with keen on. For example, I am not keen on picking my nose. 
but I am keen on meeting up with my mates. Now, you notice how I use the word mates instead of friends? Mates means the same thing, it's just more informal and more colloquial, so it's good to use in a speaking exam. Also, I use the phrasal verb meet up with. A lot of people like to say, I like to meet with my friends. That's fine, but you can make it a little bit better and stronger using the phrasal verbs meet up with, hang out with, or go out with. And you can use all those when talking about your mates. Moreover, an additional way of saying that you do not like something is to say the informal colloquial expression, it's not my cup of tea. For instance, speaking English with Mariano Rajoy is not my cup of tea because he's just so quiet. Okay. Just to remind you with a few examples of some of the things we talked about today. Imagine this. My name is Matt Damon and I'm from Bilbao. Matt Damon. Which is a city that is near the ocean and the mountains and is about an hour and a half away from the French border. Currently, I'm working as a professional handball player with the royal family. But before that, I got my degree in making public money disappear. I am extremely keen on watching This Is English videos, but on the other hand, that Richard Valgan, his stuff is just not my cup of tea. <coughs> Thank you so much for watching our video today. Please make sure to click the thumbs up on our YouTube videos, as well as we want to hear from you. Give us your feedback on what kind of things you are keen on and things that are not your cup of tea, either here in the comments section or on our Facebook page. And always remember, Dick Vaughn. As. Fuck you, man.